girls, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and that you had a really good week. Um, I had a wonderful time at the Goddess Conference. It was totally amazing. Uh, really, really met some lovely people again, some wonderful times uh, with tribal sisters. So it was totally, totally wonderful. And I am back now and I am firing on all cylinders. A uh, couple of updates for you. Looks like we're probably gonna be moving house in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I still plan on doing readings. I don't know about Wi-Fi. I don't know about things like that at this moment in time but I will keep you all posted when I have a definite move-in date when I definitely know when the wi-fi is coming and when I'm definitely going to be if I have to have a bit of time off and um, sorting it out I'm hopeful that I can just go to my parents house and use their wi-fi if I need it so it shouldn't impact on private readings um but just to let you know that there will be a house move coming up Baby's doing good at uh, 24 weeks now, little Mooner, as some of you call him. Uh, he's doing really good. He's kicking and punching away. Everything's going really well. Um, so fingers crossed, everything is shifting. It's just all go, go, go. It's all a bit chaotic around him at the moment. And uh, for someone that likes to still the meditation and zen of the world, the chaos can sometimes get on top of me. So lots of going outside, lots of nature, lots of walks, lots of druidry, and I am firing from all cylinders. So in the name of the Goddess Conference, because of what we did this week, the two decks that I've picked are the Goddess, Triple Goddess Tarot and the Celtic Tarot. So we're going back to your, back to old lineage um, and we are also going back to, to Goddess. So, deck number one, <laughs> that's the, the information booklet on it. It's just staring at me in the face. I, I throw away guidebooks and information things because they just irritate me. They just sit in the deck and there. Uh, I obviously missed it on that one. Deck number one, deck number two, pick your deck. This one, everyone, when I used it last time, everyone said that deck is beautiful. Uh, it is the Universal Celtic Tarot. Goddess Tarot, universe, Triple Goddess Tarot, Celtic Universal Tarot. Pick your deck. So we're doing their thoughts about you this week, what they're thinking about you, uh, what their current thoughts are towards you. Number one. Number two, go to the deck that you are most drawn to. Okay, you've all got it. Let's go. Deck number one. So as always, it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all. You know how we work on this channel by now. Going into all your energy, all your people's energy and pulling out the strongest mutual uh, threads and lines between you all. Okay. Think about your person for me, to their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And let's see all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number one. That one didn't work. Deck number one as well. Let's go backwards. Okay, my guide is saying let's do two more. So the first thing that's coming through my right ear, as my guide is saying, do two more, is some chase and status. Now, I don't know how many of you love drum and bass. I love my drum and bass. Uh, so the chase and status song that's coming through is Time, Feet, Delilah. I'm sure it's Time, Feet, Delilah. And it says, if you can find the time to give your love to me, just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be. If you can't find the time, then cut me loose. So straight up, we've got this kind of energy coming forward with you with that song. That's this bond, this connection that you two do love each other, that there is this really strong energy with you guys. But you guys watching are probably feeling a little bit fed up with the situation that it's not really doing anything. It's not really moving forward and you don't know what your person is thinking. So let's have a look. What is their person thinking? It's a hand like, what is their person thinking? Deck number one. Two. So we've got a bit of a wounded energy happening with you guys um, as we're going directly into the cards, into the energy of the cards. What's flagging up first of all is this bit of pain, little bit of heartbreak, feeling a bit lost over the situation, not really sure what's going on. Um, and your person, when we're looking at their thoughts about you, that energy is coming forward from their part as well. So we do have this mirroring energy happening with you guys. That you're both kind of feeling exactly the same over the situation with one another. I'm just going to get one more. I feel like we need to get eight. 
So we have that energy coming forward firstly. So in their thought process, there is a sense of being a little bit hurt by the situation. You guys are also hurt by it and this is where this mirroring energy is coming in. Now we know with more divine connections that we do kind of get this mirror energy and with that spirit are saying, um, getting a pagan chant coming forward that the river is uh, flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing down to the stream. Get me my drum out. Um, <laughs> so what this is saying, river is always kind of your emotions. So the river is flowing, flowing and growing. So your emotions are flowing for each other. They're growing for each other. And it's kind of taking you down into the stream, this kind of peaceful, tranquil energy going on. Now, it's been a bit uproar at this moment in time. And this is where this wounded energy is coming in. Water always stands for emotions, always always stands for emotions so when we're looking at the river flowing and growing and flowing down to the stream you've got this emotions kind of going with the flow of the energy going through the flow of these emotions and there's also this healing energy coming through with that song so definitely going through a bit of a time of maybe a bit of pain a bit of loss a bit of suffering things just being a bit difficult around you both and you haven't really known what the other person is feeling now with the water energy as well there's always a reflection okay so when you look over the bath you know when you look in a cup and you can always see this kind of this mirror image so this is where the mirroring is happening so both of you are kind of mirroring the same emotions even if your person isn't handling it very well or talking to you about it very well there is this mirroring energy going on with you guys so anything that you are feeling your person is going to be feeling as well and the emotions that are coming up with that is this pain this heartbreak this ouch ouchy it's been a bit sore around you both so regardless of your circumstances situations what's happening in your individual worlds your collective energy has this kind of wounded soldier feeling like you've been battling you guys have been battling you've been battling for this connection to work you've been feeling like every seed that you've been sowing has kind of not been coming into fruition and you guys are wondering now what do you do about it like i said this this pain coming up from the connection with you guys so spirit is saying with this when we're looking at this tend to your garden so we're going very much into this elemental energy with deck number one quite interesting um when spirit is saying tend to your garden so when we're looking at earth energy this is all about stability and security okay so we've got your emotions flying around for each other and we're counteracting those emotions by looking at the earth energy and with them saying tend to your garden what they're meaning is looking at where you are at the moment, at your stability, at your security and, and what you want to achieve with your life with regard to your connection and building that stability around you. Um, I just got that song from, I think it was probably like a kid's song. Uh, it was religious kid's song, I think. And it was talking about how there were two men and one built his, uh, one man built his house on rock and one built his house on sand or something and the rain came down and the rain came down and the floods the two floods um, and the person that built their house on the solid ground had the stable house with the house on the sand that kind of fell apart so when they're saying tend to your garden spirit is saying that there needs to be a stability being brought into this connection with you guys and it's going to start with you guys watching so rather than working more on an emotional basis with your person it's kind of important that you work on a more stable basis so looking at the stability between the two of you and growing with that, growing with that stable energy happening with you both. So planning where you want to be. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard is a manifestation guru. He's, he's amazing. And he talks about everything on our outside world being a reflection of our inside world. So if you are focusing on lack, you will be creating more lack. If you're focusing on things that are a bit negative, you will be creating more of that negativity. And we have that energy kind of coming over here. So if you've been feeling unstable over the connection and focusing more on the emotional side of things, it's time to find that stability within yourself. How you can do that, we would talk about really focusing on that earth energy, tending that ground, tending your garden, the spirits there. It's a bit naughty to me, but tending your garden. So uh, lots of root vegetables, lots of getting outside, uh, lots of you know natural spring waters, um, all of those kind of things that the earthly energies to ground you will help with this. You can also use crystals, you can use tourmaline, hematite, anything along those lines to give yourself that stability and security. 
okay and once you've done that there is this kind of stepping away from these painful emotions so the first three cards that jumped up were kind of this pain this this energy of ouch i'm really sore and over here what you see this isn't it beautiful you have this kind of wounded soldier you have the wounded dog and the girl over the top is healing the energy so where you are at the moment we need to focus on your healing energy Okay. Now, the reason why Spirit are bringing all of this up is because you, you and your person, if we look at that mirroring energy, you two need to kind of echo the same energy onto each other. So anywhere that you do this kind of stable grounding and energy over the connection with you guys, it's going to echo onto your person as well. So just ask Spirit to do that. All right. Where your person's thoughts are, judging from these three cards right at the start, you've got this kind of pain, this mirroring energy happening with you guys. So anything you're feeling, your person is feeling as well. Feeling quite lost, feeling a bit confused and unsure what to do. Now, what comes up next with you both is we have this movement towards you. So once you've done this kind of focus on the stability and the security, you've got this movement coming in from your person. So the thoughts on you over here is once you've got this more grounded energy, they're going to start making moves towards you. They are missing you if you're not in contact. They do want to see where things go. But at the moment, they're just feeling a little bit stubborn about it. With the seven of swords jumping out at the end of the spread, this is talking about a deception. Okay. Now, the deception that's coming up is a deception within themselves. So they're probably trying to hide away from their emotions. And the reason for that is because they've been hurt. So you've got this pain coming forward over here, pain of their emotions, pain of the connection, pain due to all of these kind of three factors that came up first and foremost, suffering, okay? So they are really struggling with the connection as well. They're feeling quite lost over it. It doesn't mean they don't love you because we also have the two of cups. So we have these very, very strong feelings for you. Um, but there has to be this counteraction of your energies. Your person, Spirit, are telling me your person's feeling quite overwhelmed at the moment and they are probably having a breather from it and not making these choices just yet, all right? Um, and the reason why, again, it kind of comes back to this, I'm quite hurt over the connection, I'm feeling this pain. And like we said, anything you guys are feeling, your person is feeling as well. So you have that energy coming forward from them as well. Now, we've got this movement coming in, okay? Movement coming in from them. Communication. It looks like they're still going to be a little bit guarded with regard to their heart, but they will come towards you. And the love that you two share is very, very real with the two of cups over here. You have your beautiful love that guides the two of you together. Um, and when there is love, there is a way for things to work out. Your person would like to see where this goes, but at the moment they're just feeling a bit hurt. So they're just avoiding it. All right. And once that avoidance goes, once this kind of seven of swords energy starts to diminish and fade away, which will come from you lot tending your garden. <laughs> once that finishes and fades away, you will have this movement coming in, an offer of love. And we have your last card as the nine of cups. You have your beautiful connection, your beautiful bond with the two of you. OK, and possibly that, you know, maybe with this bit of downtime, because you've got the eight cups on the shelf and she's holding the ninth. With the eight cups on the shelf, this bit of downtime is going to bring what, uh, going to bring to you what you want and this uh, nine of cups is talking more about the emotional stability if we look at her wise wisdom if we look at who she is as a lady and uh, she's older she's wiser she's learned from things that have happened in the past and she's holding that cup she's holding that cup ready to give it you've got your love over here you've got your celebration over here and your celebration over here so your energy is merging together and she's holding the ninth cup She's holding it ready to give up and say, look, let's make this work. Let's get in charge of our emotions and stabilise this connection. So when it comes to your person's thoughts, we know where it's going. We know that they're going to make moves. If you, they know that if you get me ways out, where it's going is if you focus on the stability within yourself, it will create stability on the outside. That will then create movement from them towards you. Once movement is created, you can be working towards achieving your goals of your person and your love connection bonding. Where they are at this moment in their thoughts, if we've got a very kind of heavier energy over them, but there is still this missing, this longing, this potential between you both that this is something that is going to work out. Um, bit wounded both of you a bit wounded both of you feeling quite sore over the connection at the moment from that your person is probably in this little bit of avoidance try not to think about it if they are thinking about it they're probably just trying to brush it under the carpet a little bit and not dwelling on the emotions 
reason for that is because they are heavy over this. Um, but you are in their thoughts. Really beautiful card, this one. You are in their thoughts. So just having a bit of a breather from it all at the moment. What do they want from the connection? They would like to see where this goes. They'd like to go with the flow of this. Like I said, at the moment, you've got these bit of brick walls up in the way. Um, but they would like to see where it goes between you guys. They would like to focus on that energy. You're just going to have to be a little bit patient with them and give them a bit of time. And with that patience, if you do that internal work within yourself and look at your stability and tending to your garden, then your energies can shift moving forward. OK, uh, so very beautiful energy between you both, a very strong, loving, loving energy. Just it's a bit of a longer road. It's a bit of a journey. And Spirit always will say it's not about the destination when it comes to divine relationships. It is about the journey. And this is you and your person's journey. OK, so the wounds need to heal like a cat. They just show me a clairvoyant of a cat licking his wounds. Um, the wounds need to heal. And once those wounds heal, these progression routes can move forward. How the wounds will heal is time and focusing on your own inner stability. Um, using the tools and techniques that Spirit said in this reading will help you. They will help you. Okay, my loves. Um, so if you need me, just drop me a message. As always, I am around. Uh, I said at the very start, I've just tapped in, tuned in, turned on. I will be moving house in the not too distant future. I don't know when. I don't know about Wi-Fi and things like that, but I do plan to still work. Um, I'm just probably going to need a couple of days to sort the Wi-Fi out. When I know more, I will let you know more. Don't panic. I am still here. <laughs> um, okay, guys, I'm sending lots of love to you and I will speak to you soon. Tons of goddess blessings your way. Um, I hope you all had a great lunar cell. Um, it was totally incredible, this end of the woods. Bye, darlings. Okay, guys, deck number two. So this is everyone's favourite deck. I had so many messages after I used this read, uh, after I used this deck before. I had so many messages of people asking me what deck it was. Um, and it's the Universal Celtic Tarot. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. People just love it. Um, and I adore it with my Celtic heritage. I just, I think it's wonderful. Okay, so let's go. Think about your person. So we'll get into the person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. I hope you all had a really blessed lunar cell. Um, I put on the Instagram page, Mystic Love Tower Instagram, um, ways that you guys could celebrate. And I know a few of you said, I don't know much about Celtic um, festivals. We have them every six weeks. Uh, the next one is my one or the autumn equinox. I've only got two more, two more festivals. We've got Mabon and we've got uh, Sawain. And after that, the baby comes before you. <gasps> My God, where's the year gone? <laughs> where's the year gone? I was thinking about it. I was like, it's three more moons, four more full moons, three more full moons before he arrives. Um, possible that he could be a full moon baby like me. I was a full moon baby. Uh, Gemini moon, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini star, Gemini sun. I can't get me words like Gemini Sun, Sagittarius name. Okay, so I'm such a nutter. Right, what is the person thinking about those watching? So we're just going to get the collective energy between you all as always. They are beautiful. They are a beautiful, beautiful deck. What are they thinking about those watching? I went to... Um, the peak wildlife park the other day because we're kind of on the edge of the peak district where we live and then um, which is great for standing stones it's fabulous um so we went to the national park the other day and there's this this beautiful goat they get to roam free so i love it um rather than being kind of, kind of trapped in cages they get the animals get to roam free and it's this goat and he was sitting on these these rocks and i was just like it's just like being at stonehenge <laughs> it's just like the goat of stonehenge on this uh, on the wildlife park Beautiful place. Um, what are they thinking? About those watching. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna get eight. Ush, ush, ush. Getting harder to bend down. Actually, I'm gonna get those two jumped out together, so I'm just gonna get one more. Okay, so wow is the first thing that I want to say. 
your cards are really quite a thing in a positive way. So we've got a very, very, very beautifully strong love connection going on with you. Your person sees great potential and wanting new beginnings with you. So the first two cards that came up was your Ace of Cups and your Ace of Pentacles. So this is your new beginning based on stability and this is your new beginning based on love. So when your person, we're looking at what their thoughts are for you, they want a future with you. They want a stable future and they want a place for love to blossom, Spirit are saying really clearly. So what a beautiful energy first and foremost. When your person is thinking about you and their thoughts towards you, this is what they want. They want a future. When do they want a future? Now. And the other thing that's kind of coming forward, quite an interesting song. And I don't know who remembers this. Uh, it was Chumbawamba. <laughs> I think it was only a little wee dot. Chumbawamba, I get knocked down, but I get back again. And you're never going to bring me down. And this is a lot like yours and your person's connection. So you might have found in the past kind of a judgment happening over here. You might have found that things got knocked down with you guys, but it's getting built back up. And if it hasn't yet, it is soon going to be building back up. Okay beautiful love dolphins over here really kind of signifying an unconditional love with you guys and a resurrection of your connection so rebirth resurrection things shifting wanting a relationship wanting a future wanting a family and you haven't got the ten of pentacles i just had to double check but the spirit showed me a very clear clairvoyant of the ten of pentacles just as i was looking at these cards okay so very much a love connection, very much wanting a future with you, wanting a family, the white picket fence, marriage, kids, whatever you're specifically wanting, or even if you're just wanting a relationship, your person is wanting it as well. It's like they've made a choice on it. So before you might have found that it was a little bit stagnant, perhaps they had a bit of time away from the connection. Um, and now they're gonna, if they haven't come back yet, they're, they're coming back like any time now. And they're coming back with full guns blazing, quick movement, stepping in. I love you. I want to be with you. Okay. Um, it's been a bit of a test of faith for both of you, Spirit are saying for me. A bit of a test of faith for both of you. Um, and there has been this, there have been a little bit, I'm going to protect myself over the connection. And you might have found that we're a bit standoffish. But we have this direct movement really quickly stepping in. We've got the two birds in the background again, symbolising the true love. Um, moving forward, moving out of perhaps what other people have told them, how they think that they should have reacted to a situation, to standing on their own two feet, making these strong moves towards you and saying, look, you know what, mate? Oh, I'm not calling you mate. You know what, love? Let's make this work. This is the connection that I want. Also, so a few of you traveling, okay? So traveling kind of coming up over here. Um, it could be that you're gonna be going on holiday, COVID dependent. Um, it could be that you're going on holiday. It could be that things are shifting into your favor definite rebirth of the connection and if you look at this this is the old way that we used to used to bury people we send them out to sea um, and set them alight and so this woman is looking at this this boat and he's being sent out to sea reason why is because again we're coming back to this period of rebirth okay so physical traveling with you guys perhaps some of you guys are going to be going on holiday which will be really nice but you have this rebirth happening with you both things shifting and moving into your favor We've got children coming into this as well. So if you're looking to have kids, that is a potential if you're looking to uh, mother the energy. So this relationship sometimes does need a little... Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? This relationship sometimes needs a little bit of mothering. With the Empress, um, often people will signify the Empress just as being a mother card. We have to remember that when it comes to mothers, it's not just empresses. It's not just about giving birth to kids. It's about giving birth to ideals, dreams, hopes, ambitions, aspirations, love. OK, so great potential over here for birth as well. New birth of the connection. So two sides of it. You've got potential children and holidays and new beginnings for you guys. You've also got new beginnings, birthing of the relationship and um letting the old relationship pass so the two of you can move forward in a positive direction so different parts of that the physical and the spiritual bonding connecting we've got the king queen of cups king of pentacles which is really interesting because when we're looking at your aces you also got the ace of pentacles and you've got the ace of cups so again you've really oh let's put put this one back the other way around 
you've really got this very strong co connection and bond with you both. Your person will be standing in a much more stable energy. You're going to be standing in a much more secure energy and you're going to be working together with your last card being the Seven of Pentacles. I'll try to show you like this. You'll be working together to get your new beginnings. Your person's feeling a, a lot more stable over the situation. And this is what's going to make them offer you that stability. You're feeling a lot more emotional over the situation, which is going to make them offer you the emotional side of things. And in between, we're saying goodbye to the past and moving things forward. Again, children kind of coming into this. It's like it's having this really strong, the, your person's having this really strong rebirth of their connection with you both. And this is what they want. So when we're looking at their thought process and what they're thinking about you, they're wanting a future. They're wanting this to go. They know that they have emotions for you. They know that they're in love with you. They know that they want a future. They know that they want a family with you. Um, whether it's their family or having kids, they know that this is what they want. So you've got that bond of the two of you coming together. You've got, I've been, they, they feel sometimes that they've been a bit of an idiot, but they're ready to come full steam ahead, charging towards you, giving you what it is that you want and giving birth to dreams. Resurrection, they want this relationship to resurrect. They want this relationship to go the distance. So when it's their thought process, this is what they're thinking. They're thinking, right, I'm going to come, full guns blazing, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to come, make these offers and say, look, you know what, let's be together. This is what I want. And this is what's going through their head. So their thought process on it is really, really positive. Let's make this work. Let's have it. Let's get our aces. Let's stack up our aces. I'm sure that's the song. Let's stack up our aces, all our aces in a row, Spirit is saying to me working towards your future. They want to be with you and they want this to be happening now. Let the relationship rise. Let it rise from the dead. Let it happen. Okay, my beauties, and that is deck number two. So have a totally blessed week. I will speak to you all super soon. Uh, I love you all to pieces and lots of goddess blessings your way. Ciao, angels.